everybody, and welcome to Team Tuesday. My name is Margaret, and this week we are making shamrock candle holders. Let me show you how to cut a symmetric shamrock. I'm going to use this large piece of paper so that it is easy for you to see. Start with your piece of paper and fold it in half and in half again. Now you're going to fold it into a triangle so that the folded edges meet up with each other like this. Now, here you can draw an outline of part of your shamrock. What you're going to do at the bottom is come in a little bit, then go out and up, around and down. So it's sort of like a question mark or sort of a weird looking heart. Cut on your line. and unfold. And there you have a symmetric shamrock. Let me show you how to do that one more time on a smaller piece of paper. Fold it in half, and then in half one more time and then into a triangle so that the folded edges line up with each other. Draw your line, going in a bit, then out, around, down, and cut. Unfold and you've got a little shamrock. For the St. Patrick's Day shamrock candle holder, you'll start with a glass votive candle holder and you'll need Mod Podge, a brush for applying it, and green tissue paper. You may also want various shaped templates that are shamrock shaped that can be traced onto your tissue paper with a pencil, or you can freehand cut the shapes out using the method I just showed you. Make sure you allow it to dry completely before you put fire anywhere near it. You can also go the easy route and put a candle operated tea light inside instead. Happy St. Patrick's Day! See you next time for another Teen Tuesday.